You good man? I told you I'd come to I told you I'd come to Stockholm and see your race. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, I thought you were gonna have an extra hurdle to jump over there at the end tonight. Yeah, you know, fuck that, I would run straight through them. I just what I was thinking. Yeah. I was actually hoping they were in front of you to see what would happen. Yeah, that would that would have been problematic. Tell us uh, how did the race feel out there tonight? It was good, you know, I have to give some credit to my coach because he found a good nice parking like parking garage somewhere in Stockholm city center and we were warming up under there it was warm and good so I was I was dry and warm coming to the start of course it's some bad conditions but at the same time I wanted to, to show myself from my best side so I'm very happy with the race I was talking with your coach yesterday and he was telling me you're well used to uh, doing training sessions in garages or basements anyway yeah yeah, 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 yeah. no we don't care and, and I think it's all, always about being creative when you step into a race like this Everybody is fighting with the same conditions. Doesn't matter, and you know, a lot of people from Stockholm coming here out to watch. And uh, of course, this is a job. We need to put on a good show for them. So, you know, I just went all out from from the first step, and uh, I got it a bit in the end because of the wind. But uh, yeah, I'm happy. It seems when you race, like it doesn't look like you're pacing yourself. Like even looking at your form and everything, it looks like you're really letting go. Do you just like do you think about what you're going through with say a certain hurdle in a time, or are you just letting go and just seeing how it goes? Yeah, you know, it's like we we just count afterwards. You know that that's when we see how did this go, what can we improve, whatever. But for the race, this is why we train to to just run with our instincts and to go all out. So. Wherever I go, I try to run as hard as I can, and uh, that's the way I know, and that's the way I like, and it's also the way to run a world record. It seems like you haven't had too much competition yet so far this season. Um, are you looking forward to racing against Dos Santos in Monaco? It will come, uh, and I know that these guys have to count on them, so yes, I'm actually looking, looking forward, and I think this is a race that people deserve now. It's going to be a much anticipated uh, uh, duel, and uh, I'm looking forward. Tell me this, how hard are you slapping yourself in the starting line? Um, quite hard, you know, before I was slapping like a bit lower but my heart started getting some issues so I, I started slapping a bit a bit above the heart so it's quite a lot of force but uh, if I ask you, it, it gets my adrenaline pumping. If I asked you now to give me a slap, would you give me a slap? So I slap could, you? Yeah, so I could feel yeah, the power. Yeah, sure, sure. Give, you give, good? give this man a bit of room. Give this man a bit so of room. So I do like this. Oh yes, yes. Go again. Can you feel it? And then it's like this. No, oh, I don't want. I don't want to do it. I, I felt like I was regretting when I did the face. He joked me, man. I never watched like, his cheek. No, I never watched it. It wasn't that hard. I, did, I didn't mean to. No, I, 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 that wasn't even. Okay, a that wasn't. That wasn't even. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. One final question. You and Jakob Ingebrigtsen. What would be the ideal distance for you to race off against each other? Six hundred meters. 800? Jacob will be pissed at me for saying this, but I think 800. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. But I need some practice, but uh, he's a great runner, and uh, right now he is running so smart, so maybe right now he would outsmart me, but uh, maybe one time in the future we can do an 800, but uh, all respect to Jacob, he's a, he's a great runner, so he knows the tactics on the laps, but I think 800 would be a place for us to, to meet if we were to meet. Well, man, that's brave because it'd be easy to say 600, so... Uh, <laughs> Your hats off to Bodhi and best look dressed at the season. <laughs> Thanks, Harrison. man. Thanks, Good man. Kelsen, Mark Colt. Some boy. <laughs>